Oh, there, Louis. Yeah, it's quite typical in here. It rains. Like always. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of me, Pondol, playing Terraformcraft. Yes, Terraformadol. Whom or whatever. Uh, first of all, let me say something. Do you remember when I talked about um, having to kill the pleasure game? Yes, I have now found one. It is actually Terraformcraft. Uh, but a mod pack of, um, made out of Terraformer Craft called Serious Firma Craft. And I've been on playing on Serious Firma Creepers. No, Serious Creepers. Serious Firma Craft server. Yes, I've been doing stuff in there and I might make some videos out of that too because it has create in it. And um, I want to test the pack. I want to see uh, do I actually want to make a series out of that or just have fun playing with other people that are as orientated to GFC as I am. <laughs> so yes, uh, that is something that we will decide a touch later. But today's mission. Yes, well, let's, while we are clearing our, our inventory, um, let's talk about what we're going to be having today. So today we are going to go exploring. There are some items that I really, really, really want to find. Um, uh, and. That is actually... Oh, it stopped crying. How, how very much. Nice. Ah, ah. But yes! Oh, yes, this is what I was about to place in there. <laughs> Do I have any food? No, I don't have any food on me. That's great. Uh, so, our plan, our devious master plan today is to find... I'm hearing voices. Bushies. Now, uh, we need... I'm hearing voices still. Um, we need a lot. Oh, it was you! <laughs> I thought I heard something. It was you, my friend. I need to get used to you. Uh, yes, we need to find olive tree saplings and what, whatever do we need to find. We need to find as much bushes as possible. And just ask me, how much bush do we want? Like a lot of bush. Like more bush than in the 80s porn film. Yes, that much of bushes we need. And yes, I actually said that. <laughs> what we need for this trip is actually, because we want to get the bushes, we need this. And um, do we have a better hole here? No. Well, I will craft myself a terrible hole then. And did you know this about the spears? <laughs> they do not despawn. So if you throw them, they just stick to the wall. For eternity. That's a fun little thing. Let's take some of these too. And now, my little friend, may I gather you with me? Because we are leaving right now. You're cute. <laughs> um, I think we should be good with this. Yeah, I, I really need some food. I, I can't live the place without food. Well, any food, yeah. Fishies. Yes. And now I think we are finally ready to go. So in the last episode I mentioned something, uh, the iron farm that I have been in. <laughs> and we are going to start our little trip from there. So let's get to it. Ha! We are still on our way to the iron mine, but I spotted something. Oh, bismuth. Uh, yes, I'm uh, not sure if I want that or not. <laughs> oh, so what I was... I forgot to mention that the one thing that we especially need is the willow saplings. Those I really want because I love the green color that the willow has and I, I want to build out of that. I want to make huge things like a outhouse out of willow <laughs> and everything like that. Yes. So I, I definitely want willow saplings. That is one of the main items alongside the raspberry bushes and the blackberry bushes and uh, a little bit of the middle, whatever. <laughs> oh, that was cute! <laughs> Do it again! Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> we are still on the way, but um, uh, we started collecting the, those bushes I mentioned, yes. Uh, Ooh, that's interesting. Well, you can keep that, yes. <laughs> um, yes, bushies. Cranberry bushies. 
just take a look at it. It's so happy when you get <laughs> when it gets to collect all the items. Just look at look at him. Look at him. <laughs> uh, collecting some clay uh, because I forgot to take my prospector right house pick. So um, it might come to that. I will actually make myself a pit kiln and uh, a prosperator's pick or two, just in case. But otherwise, I cannot watch the inventory if I have. That's interesting. If I had a shield in my offhand, I cannot watch the inventory of Louis. Yes. You live and you learn. Let's continue, my friend. You coming? Oh, Bush. You should have warned me about this. We almost walked past it. Past it. Yes. We need to keep our eyes on Bush. Yeah, we want. Bushes. Berry bushes. We need uh, bushy bushes and uh, wooshy bushes. <laughs> yes. Cranberries. That's good. Because they are uh, already at late, later time of the fall almost winter time when they grow so yes we can uh, schedule the uh, work and uh, yes <laughs> yes but olive saplings that is something that i really would like to find a lot uh i'm not not even interested on the other possible fruits the olives are the ones that i'm really interested in because um yes olive oil do we see this? Om nom 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 nom. Ha ha ha. Nom nom nom. And we are soon getting to. Nom 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 nom. Yes. I could have been making voices for you. Nom 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 nom. All right. That was not good. Continue. Bushes. And we are getting to the iron mine actually quite soon here. Yes. The worst mine mining experience that I have had. Whoopsie! And then, just take a look. Oh, there are still some left. Well, well, uh, that is not actually surprising. And uh, by the way, by the way, the science. Yes. So if you place grass on top of ice, the ice will not melt. I don't know if this is going to be fixed or not. <laughs> I have proved myself wrong. All right, <laughs> but yes, this little iron mine here has been the most chaotic, <laughs> most chaotic iron uh, collection or farm thing that I've ever had in my life. It kept on falling on me, tried to kill me all the time, <laughs> like all the time. As you can see, there have been a lot of cave-ins in here, a lot, <laughs> the worst mine ever. And we have a bed in here. So, we are going to actually take that bed with us. Yeah. No. <laughs> Almost. A butterfly. Almost got it. No. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to get up here. <laughs> yeah, the river was actually a short one. We um, jumped in there, and now we are here. So, <laughs> yeah, a couple of hundred meters, and we are stuck again. So, I'm trying to get here safely, using Louie <laughs> to break some stuff here, yes, uh, well, you, you can actually walk with me, can't you? Oh, you went straight for that, do not fall down in there, <laughs> you might get stuck, uh, yes, again, let's continue, how about you try to stay in clear? And oh, this is a terrible. Where are you going? No. It's the same hole. <laughs> are you scared? Afraid of the dark? Yes. Aren't we all? There might be wolves in here and everything. So we ask, actually, let's take the mob behavior adjustment tool. But, yes, to our hands so that we can. Possibly try to fight if we, we actually come uh, along with some animals that do come straight for us. Oh, I, I really don't like this biome, you know? The inverted badlands. Yeah. It's not good, I don't like it. But it does provide sand, so that is nice. Yes, I kind of want to head this way too. So I'm going to go past these 
badlands here and uh, maybe see you in here somewhere if we find something interesting. Yeah, that, that, that is still... Yeah, because... Uh, yeah, we're going to... Go, maybe try to find ourselves to this place here. Waypoints, create. Here? Here. <laughs> Save. Yeah, let's head that way. <laughs> oh, you spotted the stones there and you want to eat them? No. And we are continuing, continuing. Yes, this way. You don't have to pick everything up. I, I know that you want to. Can you see it, Louis? This is the stuff that, the stuff that we definitely want. Nom 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 nom. Yes, rye. Aha. Uh -huh. Take all the rye seeds. Yes, we are not interested in the rye itself, but the seeds actually. And confusingly enough, uh, Louis actually shows as a red dot in the map. So <laughs> yes, ah, uh, got too scared at one point. Do not fall down in there. Walk past it. Yes, my man, Louis. That there is a horse. They are treacherous, foul animals that leave you stranded somewhere in the middle of nowhere. Huh? Do not trust those. They are. Terrible animals. Hmm. I lost him. <laughs> Suddenly, he was not following me anymore. I really hope that it did not come in down here. This is a terrible cave. It is not in here. Where did it go? Oh, no! Louis! Hmm. Ah, maybe if we follow the red markers in the map. Are you in here? Yes! <laughs> oh, really? You should not get lost like that. Yeah, there was a skeleton and all. It could have could have killed us. Yes, maybe if I hold you in my inventory for a while. While we get you a bit safer water. Yes. Hmm, it is a very dark forest. I, I, I don't actually like this place at all. <laughs> I'm terrified because I'm scared that there will be a terrible bear that will eat me. Because I am not a brave soldier. <laughs> Au contraire, I'm everything else but a brave soldier. <laughs> oh, Beast Muffin. Yes, continue with our trips here, but yes, I decided to carry Louis with me. At least for a while, because uh, he has a bad intention to, uh, or no bad habit of getting lost. Yes. And we are only 900 meters from the checkpoint that I placed for us. So yes, I will continue getting there and hope that I won't die. Oh yes, that's more like it. A plains area. Well, but it is like the rolling hills actually. We are looking for plains. But yeah, this is more like it. I can see, actually see where I'm heading and what is in front of me. Like in the next 10 meters at least. Yes. And this is still shale, yeah. So shale, we are not interested in shale, right? Yeah, we are not interested in shale. We have plenty of that where we come from. Yes. 400 meters from the waypoint and then we will see where we'll be heading. Well, I know where we're heading. Well, I'm gonna take the boat and uh, get to the river and uh, try to drive a bit south. Yes. Aha! I spotted them. Wolves. And I'm definitely going to leave them alone. <laughs> yeah, I have absolutely no reasons to attack any of those if I really, really don't have to. And now I really don't have to. Yes, do look at me. Stop staring at me. Stay away, or I will maul you with my mob behavior adjustment too. And there is the river. Aha! But we are not getting to that river, are we? I'm not very sure. <laughs> we, um, yeah, we, well, maybe, maybe we could jump in. Let's avoid each other for a while. What kind of a stone type are you? Oh, I can see it now. Can you? Oh yes, 
That is why we are here. Uh, this is carrots. Yeah, I'm not interested in carrots or root. We are interested in this. Aha! Uh -huh. Boosh! And did we get it with this? How many? One. All right. So I think I need to knee fair. Like this. Yes. <laughs> Boosh is galore. Now this actually spread like quite fast, so uh, I wouldn't need them. Uh, need that much, much of it uh, as long as I keep on uh, shaping the uh, bushes when I plant them. But I am still going to collect a whole lot of bush. So then um, tomorrow the, the, or the less I need to do uh, work with them, work with them, the better, right? Oh, that is a hole. <laughs> Let's not go into the hole. Let's go and see what we can see in there. Ooh. I would like to find some more bushes around there. You could be olives, couldn't you? That would be very nice. Totally forgot to bring me my axe with me. <laughs> like, you really should prepare yourself when you... I heard something evil. Prepare yourself when you leave for a trip, yes. <laughs> Think about it. What will you need? What won't you need? What will you get? You cannot drink properly with the shield on, yes. It cuts the shield, yes. But ah, yeah, when leaving leaving for an adventure, think of stuff. What do you actually need? Yes, beautiful olives. Not interested in anything else but, else but the branches, yes. Hit the elbow, he said. Yeah. This and how many did we get? We got five. That's nice. Mm, yes. Can't see any bushes in here on the plateau. So uh, I think what we really should be doing is going this way. Yeah, this looks like a bushery area. My bushes, 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 and the river. Yes. So we are heading this way. That sure does, lo does look like a different stone type. And I'm not sure if those trees are aspen or something else. So yeah, I would like to get on the other side. <laughs> I wonder what happens or that, how that will happen. Because we don't have any trees or anything that I make can make lumber out of. Or any blocks that I could use to get on the other side of the river. Because <laughs> uh, I would really like to go in there. Yes. But if I jump in there, maybe if we would. Ah, I can see our path here. So let's just do a bit of a jump in here. We are going to go up from this spot here. What are you? Cassiterite. How about you? Feces. Should we? Yeah, well, uh, we can leave the ear mark, mark in here. Yes. So that we know that there is Cassiterite in here. Uh -huh. uh, I think I have some of it closer to my home too. But um, it is never that bad to have um, several places that you can get the stuff. Alright, so the rock type is Diorite. Yeah, I don't think that we need Diorite for anything. Alright people, it is time to make a quiz. Is this tree, or are these trees right behind me? Aspen or Birch? Aspen or Birch? You've got five seconds. They are Aspen. <laughs> Did not make a jump. <laughs> For a while, I was a bit worried that I might actually die in here. <laughs> it was a stupid horse that distracted me. So, yeah, I decided I will head more south. Um, we are not south enough. Apparently, I, I very strongly feel that we are not south enough. Ah, and I think it was in here that I fell off. Yeah, somewhere in there from that <laughs> little thing and it's getting morning is rise risen rising yes raising uh, horses treacherous horses stupid animals terrific me though uh, yeah, back when I was you know, when I started to be a chef actually because believe it or not I'm a professional chef uh -huh. uh, but when I studied uh, I was actually uh, 
a trainee in a local yes restaurant <laughs> and um, they had horse meat and I, I, I gotta say I know some people think eating horse that's that's just evil no well ooh, there's a piggy in there. so when a horse comes to the age of or becomes sick or something like that why would you waste the good meat think about it uh, because horse is actually a good meat it is not too um, greasy you know it does not have that much fat unless it was a fat horse and that is terrible actually to keep a horse that uh, or feed the horse so that it is fat that is just animal abusement I think but yeah why not eating horses teachers it is great it is to my opinion because having a horse in the first place or having pets it is always a bit questionable but, but eating a horse that you have been feeding for years sure why not I liked it oh I think I found a little really <laughs> I think I found a lake. Yeah. By the shape of it, I think it's a huge lake. Yeah, take a look at the beautiful blue color of, on the water and everything. Yeah. This should be cool. I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> uh, yes, maybe take a bit of a swim. See if there is anything interested in the bottom of it. Yes, let's get straight to the bottom of it. There's copper in here. Now there is gas. Now, uh, now you are just stalling me. <laughs> I could make bronze tools here, uh, especially that pick. But yeah, first I need to make myself pan, and then another pit kiln, so that I can make. Uh, no, no, no. We are not staying here for two, two almost two days. Yeah. That would be pissed Yeah, if I find copper nuggets, then we are. Oh, we, we will definitely do it, but uh, yeah, just for this, um, no, uh, I really don't want to spend that much time outside. <laughs> I want to get home right after I get enough of that um, bushes, yes. because I want to stop scaring me. Uh, I want to get home. I could collect this though and... 10 years to sleuth back home. Do I need to discover or not? No, I don't think I'll land it. Yes, I want to spend time home. I want to uh, homestead my little place. Take care of the animals. Actually start feeding them. <laughs> yes. And all of that. Making the farms and such. And that is why we are aiming to be productive on this little journey that we are having in here. I want to have as much stuff as possible so that I don't have to travel all the time. No, I don't need that. <laughs> yes, so that uh, perhaps we could then spend a whole winter home. Oh, we are, we are time wise, we are late spring still, so we have plenty of summer left too. And that is one of the reasons that uh, we are actually making this exploration now, so that we can spend the summer time making the farms good and collecting and gathering stuff. And then winter time comes and we shall start building stuff. And yes, I want to spend time home, not abroad. Yes, I'm a bit of a hose. No, hose cat. <laughs> House cat. Yes, chromite. Mm -hmm. Ha ha! I have spotted you. <laughs> yes, another tree, bush, olive, blah, blah. fruit tree, ah, ah. hopefully olives, I can take anything else but two, but olives is the primary, yes, and we are, well, we are actually past the equator now, so from this on, the southern we go, the warmer it gets, ah, ah. and this, yes, those streets, I don't know what those are. We will have to check them too. But this one here must be an olive. <laughs> Olives! 
<laughs> Not going in there. Um, hmm. <laughs> Did I return to sleeping right? Oh, that is evil. You foul monsters. Uh, there are three of them. Uh, I have absolutely no idea if I could take on them or not. And I really don't want to test, but I really let's see if these are olives. If they are olives, well, where do we run if they just? Uh, of course, they are olives. <laughs> Keep on sleeping, little one. Don't worry about me. I am not interested in you. So, if you don't eat me, I will not. Oh. <laughs> There's a bush too. So if you don't eat me, I will eat you or kill you. And we are all happy. I will leave this tree. No, uh, <laughs> I would really like to have it, but I still have no blocks on me that I could use for my advantage. I would have loved to have this, but, 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 but I didn't want to risk my life. <laughs> You have to use your brain instead of your... Ooh, chest. Was this the green one? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How far away from home are we? We are here. I really should take some of that with me. <laughs> but didn't we have a chest on top of our home too, I think? Maybe a tiny bit. I can see something in there. Right beside the mountain. Something black. Almost black. <laughs> yes. Which time? Which ore is this? My guess is Cassiterite. And what do you know? It is Cassidy right. Oh yes, entering a cave that you haven't visited before. <laughs> I'm really hoping that it, this ends up somewhere good instead of bad. Yeah, it seems to stop already. That's nice. Uh, I was a bit worried that this might end up to our bitter death. Ooh, we have found an empty ocean. I have a feeling that I have been in here earlier. Yeah, I've been here. I remember the shoreline. Uh, this went quite a bit to uh, east. Ha ha! There is something in the wall there. Quiz time! What is the mineral or ore that is shown on the wall there? My guess would be chromite. And it is! Gnice chromite. Oh, gnice. That's nice. I know that we need it for something. I don't can't remember what. Yeah, it turned out that the place where I, uh, I was in the place with the cheese and the cassiterite and all, it was actually old mountains uh, and uh, those don't bear fruit, I, I think, o or bear fruit. Yes. Uh -huh. but this uh, looks actually a bit better. Maybe. Just maybe I should climb up there and see what is happening in here. In here. Yes. Ha 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 Always trust your nose. Now your instinct. Don't trust your nose. It might be lying to you. But your instinct. Yes. Pretty sure that these are actually olive trees. They sure do look like one. Olive trees. And this rock type here is Philite. I think Philite is actually good for something. I can't remember what, but it might be good for something. So, yeah, let's try to keep that in mind while we harvest the elbows of this little fellow here. Elbow number one. That was close. <laughs> <laughs> Zombies. 
a lot of zombies. Yes, probably scaly bellies too. Scaly bellies. Where was the other tree? I know that there was another olive tree here somewhere. <laughs> oh, it is there. Oh, and I can see a wolf on the map. Yeah. I'm using the map because of cheat, 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 cheaty boy. How many wolves do we have? We have only one. Should we? Actually. No. Why would we kill animals? But that one is definitely alone there. Yeah. I just told your friend. Why are you... Why are you cutting the olive saplings? <laughs> the olive trees! Right next to them! <laughs> Why? I would like to really... I really would like to take the branches out of them. Oh, there are bushes too. Alright wolves, you win this round, I'm up. Another fruit tree. This does not look like. Does not look like. <laughs> this does not look like olives. I think this is something else. Yeah, I would say this is some kind of an apple. Apple? Is it a apple? No, it's an olive tree. How nice! Short attention spam. Yes. Oh. Twelve olive saplings. Do we have more bushes around here? Aha! Yes. Berry bushes. We are going to. Well, uh, actually, what we, what I need to find is a good place for the bushes, because they spread like a disease, and uh, I would also like to have them handy and easy to collect. And these actually destroy path blocks. I found out. Oh, find out that these actually destroy path blocks. So, they grow on top of it and destroy the path. They spread, so we need to make the paths out of something else than uh, this. Yes. Oh! There are cows here. For a moment I thought, or I was a bit worried that there are yet again wolves <laughs> guarding the olive bush. But no, these one were actually cows. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can stay right there. I have absolutely no interest in you whatsoever. So we come here and we hit the elbow. And then we hit the elbow. Yes. I don't think that I have hickory yet. Let's gather some saplings from here too. Yeah. So, the reason that hickory is a good tree. Uh, as you can see, it branches like this. So when you are farming, it, uh, there is a high chance that the, the branches hit together and when you collect them, you can easily harvest several hickory trees instead of just one. And that is why hickory is a good tree. It is not pretty or anything like that, but that is something that we are not <laughs> interested in anyways. Uh, it is more of a very practical to harvest. Yes. Ooh. Blackberries. <laughs> this we did not have earlier, but now we do. And that is very nice. How much? Two bushes. Yeah, because raspberries we did have, and they do bear fruit in different times. So having several kinds of bushes is cool. Blueberry, blackberry, and a whole bunch of raspberry. Yes. Nice. Another cave that uh, I'm not sure if it takes us home or not. Uh, at least there was a skeleton to, to try to throw us, throw a spear at us. It still says trident vibra. Yes, we can get the daylight quite soon here. That is nice. Uh, uh, less we need to spend time in a dark cave, the better. All right. Even if it waters, rains water. Yes. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking. Um, I've got a, quite a lot of bushes now, and uh, yeah, my inventory is clocking, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head home and empty myself up. I 
still haven't found the willows, which is a bit of a shame. It's something that I might have to um, explore myself one day, because I know I need to go at least five kilometers down from the equator when we are now about 200 meters down the equator, so <laughs> equator, not Ecuador. Ecuador is a completely different game, right? But yes, I think I'm headed home now. I think there is a large fish right behind me, chasing me, and I'm uh, terrified I cannot stop. Because this thing is quite obviously following me. <laughs> Just look at the map. If that is not following me, then what is? Yeah, look like, like seriously. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually scared. I'm right in the middle of the ocean and I cannot see it. What is it? It is an orca. I've been. I've been. No! A killer whale! <laughs> no! I think we are even, evenly matched here, so I. Yeah, get stuck on those. Ah, um, where do we get? Oh, we we'll, we'll have plenty of kelp here. Yes, plenty of help from the kelp. <laughs> A huge fish. <laughs> I think I lost it. Yes. Ah, oh, this is terrifying. <laughs> it's going to eat me. Yeah, take a look at that. That is ded dedication, if something. Is, is at least 30 meters for, away from me and it is still trying to eat me. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, yeah, stay away. <laughs> or come to the shore and I will kill you. Yes. Maybe get some plubber. Yeah, this guy. This is really a dedicated fish. <laughs> he wants to eat me. Come on. And can I catch me? <laughs> you can try, but you will fail. Yeah, at this point, yeah, I think it is time to look forward because we are getting closer to the shore. Our beautiful home shore that will save us from the orca that is trying to eat us. Oh, I left a boat in here too. Hop! Evil fish. Yes, come around here. Come here. Come on. Come and eat me. Yeah, come on, come on. Foul beast. I really should check my spawn first. Yeah, come over here. But adjust that mock behavior that you have. Yeah. Come on, a bit closer. Come a bit closer. Run, run, run. Come on. I'm here. I'm right here. You want to eat me. Yes. And my health is actually so low that it might kill me with the one bite. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're swinging away. Well, that was an interesting encounter. <laughs> Apparently, they are hostile. I can see my house from here. <laughs> All right, Louis. Let's see what we got. We've got. Raspberry bushes. I think I have something in here too. Yeah, there are to forty of those. Olive saplings. Oh, very nice. We've got tomatoes and potatoes. Those we are not interested in. We've got the seeds. Yes, a lot of rice seeds. This is going to easy up the process that I have killing them. <laughs> and a lot of olive saplings. Yes, yes. We are very good with these items. Ha <laughs> ha, Louis. It was a productive. And good trip. Although we didn't fight the willow, I'm quite happy and pleased. And the next, and the next episode, we are going to plant these berry bushes and make a farm. Berry farm, bushes farm, yes. And uh, we need to form an area for the olives. And we need to uh, plant the rice, make a uh, completely dedicated field to the rice, so that uh, yes. 
Oh, plenty of stuff. We actually should harvest those, I think. And everything. Start feeding the animals and yeah. A lot of host household items and things that we need to be taking care of. Chores and such. Are you telling me that you can counter the dog? <sighs> French. How do you love them? But yes, I think it's time to wrap up this episode and see you in the next one. So this has been me, Bondol, playing that of Warcraft. See you in the next episode. Agoo. Bye!